course, as always, my name is Nicholas Khan, and welcome to Clan Khan. We are back with the next part of our Swator Smuggler Let's Play. So, we are going back to our original Smuggler, the one we originally made. Again, that footage was lost, sorry about that, but it is okay. We made a new character, we recorded some of that footage, but now we're going back to the original Kaishana. As you can see, my legendary status is right here. All eight class stories completed, as well as a lot of other characters that we're not going to get into. So without further ado, let's hop in. You must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. Well, I mean, I'm not one to turn down free food. Uh, I could eat. Got any bantha milk to wash it down with? Of course. Help yourself, dearie. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie. These rhodian peppers won't cook themselves. But, but, but where's my food? Oh, wow. I'm wearing similar gear. Should I have gear that good by now? Don't, don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? <laughs> I'm betting you're completely insane. Yeah. Insane? What? How, how dare you? Oh, now I'm smelling Bakuran cloudberries. By the stars, those those would taste awful in a Alderanian stew. You're not mm. wrong. I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? <laughs> You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. Uh, People haven't what, had much uh, luck what, getting what? new chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnot assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Um, I don't think there are woods around Ugnot here. Assassins? Don't you mean separatists? Who do you really think controls the separatists? Those crafty little swine, that's who. But we can beat them. What you really need is a precision teleporter. But a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. Okay. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. <laughs> well, how intriguing. Now we have to deliver these to V Dude. All the way back in Fort Garnick. How are we going to do it? How are we going to make sure it doesn't explode? We have to be so careful walking 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 to get it over there and now we're just gonna fade to the next scene easy does it there we go a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow there we go i'm gonna say that was a real thrill this may be the craziest thing i've ever done i'll bet you get a lot of free drinks at the cantina telling this tale Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. <laughs> yeah, he was crazy. The Trimbo guy was a few freighters short of a convoy. I know what you mean. Every time I talk to him, he thinks I'm his great-grandfather who crashed into a black hole. I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get too excited. It isn't good for your heart. Sorry, sir. This is going to be great. Skavik won't even see us coming. Ha! Take that, Skavik. Enough standing around. Let's haul jets. Easy there, Captain. We've got some details to sort out first. I want my ship. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darig at the base. We need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? Uh, 
Easy isn't the first word that comes to mind. Well, what if I sent along a little help? I appreciate it. You, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Scav a payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. I, he, he took my ship. <laughs> It'll be nice to have some backup out there. <laughs> Glad you think so. Well, yeah, backup is nice. Deal. You two head for the separatist base, kill Darag, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. Consider me signed on. I'll take a free drink. I wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece. We're about to go fight separatists in a lava base. Hopefully we'll be okay. The Knowles Legacy. This sounds like a cool ass name, you know? But then again, so is Khan. Except for the historical connotations, but you know, we'll... Oh, wait. Even the Star Trek connotations aren't that good either. He was a bad guy. But even in Star Trek, Khan is like a bad guy, so... Oh, but Kamala Khan is not. Who is like... Like my superhero character's mom in my headcanon for Nicholas Khan. A nuclear power plant, if there's a meltdown, it's like not safe to live there for like a hundred miles for like what a thousand years or something? Probably more. So yeah. It might actually be more worth it to try to find ways to make lava power. Okay, you're the tank. Just got a mean right hook. Bruh. Left hook. That was left hook. I know my left from my right. Sometimes. I want my ship. You worthless criminal vermin. How dare you invade my fortress and murder my courageous brothers in arms? <laughs> I mean, they did you first. Your pal Skavik stole my freighter. I want it back. There's no ship here for you. Only death. You are guilty of crimes against the oppressed people of Ord Mantell. The sentence is death. Memorize our faces well, you criminal filth, for we are your righteous executioners. Do you have any last words, degenerate swine? <sighs> oh, these won't be my last words. <laughs> Let justice be served. I like that. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah. Huh. Told you these wouldn't be my last words. I surrender! I surrender! Please! I don't wanna die! I know why you're here, and you're wasting your time. How do you figure that? We were tipped off. We See, I wanted that to sound meaner than it was. Derek was stupid to fight you. He got everyone killed when he should have just told you the truth. I don't think I have the right outfit Scott activated. Up a few hours ago to deliver the guns, but it was all a trick. He pretended to be on our side so he could steal some rusty antique droid from Derek. What? doesn't even make any sense. I know. Skavik helped us out a lot. We thought he was one of us. That droid was ancient. It's practically useless. But Skavik grabbed it like some big treasure and blasted his way out. Uh, he left well, your ship. old things I don't know where he went. lead to more old things. Skavik has a girl at Fort Garnick named Sirena. What? You're telling me Sirena's with Skavik? Skin betrayed by everyone. Been scamming Vidu all along. 
It was Cyrena who warned us you were coming. We have to go save Vidu. If you want to find out where Skavik went, Cyrena's the one who knows. Please, let me go. I have a family back on the mainland. Please. Separatist scum killed my family, and I promised myself I'd bury every last one of you. I, I've only been here a few months. I didn't kill anyone's family. I only ever followed orders. Then I order you to die. Dang. Delay that order, Corzo. Captain, I need to do this. I can't just let him go home and pretend like nothing ever happened. I get it, but like... Would your family want you executing people? My family were farmers, not soldiers. Please, I swear to you, I'll never serve a man like Derek again. I'll just go home and take care of my family. Get out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. Come on, Captain. We need to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Sirena. Yes, we do. After we change our outfit back to normal. There's the malicious mullet. I, I can't believe you tried to beat him, sweetheart. So what if he caught you talking to <gasps> He threatened to turn me into Rogan the Butcher. I had to kill him. Besides, now we can finally be together. Yeah. And the thing is, my cargo hold is full and yeah, I'm busy with work. I'll call you sometime, though. I promise. What are you talking about? You promised to get me out of here. I've done everything for you, Skavik. He's you scum. The money. Same as me. The only difference is, you're not actually getting paid. I'll see you around, Island. Captain. Oh, that's dirty. I, I didn't see you come in. It's wonderful you're still alive. How long have you been back? <laughs> Your friends in the secret base ratted you out. I should have known those halfwits wouldn't kill you. No use pretending, then. Skavik used me just like he did everyone else. That man could turn the armor off a Mandalorian. You killed Vidu. The Butcher's bounty hunters are on their way right now. You don't want to be here when they arrive. Skavik took your ship and the guns to Coruscant. If you go now, he won't know you're coming for him. What kind of scam is Skavik pulling on Coruscant? He wouldn't tell me. It's something big, though. The Separatists are retreating from this island, thanks to you. And the Republic just reopened the shuttle port. I'll give you a shuttle pass to Coruscant if you let me disappear. Do we have a deal? Uh... I won't pay my expenses. I need credits. Naturally. I always keep some money handy for moments like this. Take all of it. I knew you'd see things my way. I'm not, not like reasonable about things. a cold-blooded killer, but you find Scott, I'm not happy. Tell him, tell him I had no choice, all right? Goodbye, Captain. Well, I'm not gonna tell Scav nothing for you. You killed Vidu. That's I'm messed up. Peacefully. I'm not one to hurt women. But you were about to execute <laughs> someone. You don't care that she killed your boss? Of course I do. Which is why I'm gonna make sure people know what she did to him. Poor old Vidu. I wish she could hear what we did. Would have put a smile on his face. It's not healthy for us to stick around, Captain. I believe what Sirena said about bounty hunters coming. We don't know how long Skavik will stay on Coruscant either. Let's hop a shuttle and catch him while we can. I'm not one for causes, but uh, I'm on board for that one. Vito okay, stuff. that was the wrong Next choice. Me to share it with you. That literally makes Let's no sense. She's doing of all of this for a cause. Which we will get into, should be able to get into hopefully tonight. Alright, looks like we're getting off this planet, guys. Moving on into bigger and better things. Oh. Hey, it's the same species as Plo Koon. And this is what I call service. You step off the shuttle, and the binder we're here to collect is already waiting. Perfect. I'm sick of being cooped up on starships, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Easy, Kingdon. Greetings, gentle being captain. We are here on behalf of Rogan the Butcher. It seems he'd like to have a word with you. You must be Rogan's bounty hunters. 
Technically, we work freelance. You were just in the right place at the right time when Rogan placed his bounty on you. Please don't make this difficult. We get a substantial bonus if we bring you in alive. Come along quietly. You guys want a thief named Skavik, not me. You explain everything to Rogan when you see him. I'm sure he'll take your story into consideration before passing judgment. We're into carbon trees you now, right? I promise it won't hurt much, and it really is the safest way to travel. Doesn't sound too safe to me. Think I'll pass. Well, it's safer than what Kindin wants to do. You really should have surrendered, Captain. But I'm glad you didn't. I'm not afraid of you. Better? Oh. That was a rip shot. Yeah, fellas, you just... You have no idea what I am or what I'm capable of. But we're finally going to leave this planet. Ooh, we're going to the fleet. Let's open up this can of soda. Keep ourselves hydrated. It's mostly water anyways.